Yo guys, it's up, it's Wayne Little Bro here, and you know what's a pain? Construction work near your house. Really, it's driving me insane. No, I'm just kidding, I mean, it is a pain. But you know what's your pain? Updating commands from 1.12 to 1.13. It's really so hard. Like, no, 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 dude. Don't worry about it. Why, why are there pigs here? This is a super flat world. Go away. You're gonna be able to do that. Like, easily. Like, it didn't take me a while to learn. So if you're good at Minecraft 1.12, it should be easy to update commands from 1.12 to 1.13. Today we're gonna go over the, you know, most used commands. And we're gonna see what the commands have become in 1.13. And also construction work. Seriously, please stop. Anyways, one of the first commands is block data. We always use block data to update a command block from always active to needs redstone. So we can trigger a trap or whatever or trigger just a command block, like naturally. And in 1.12 we use the block data, the coordinates and then the MBT. An example for a command we use the auto GOB. And you may say, wow, what has it become today? Well, it didn't change a lot. Oh my gosh, so much construction noises. Well, it didn't change a lot. So basically, I can do data, okay? And instead of block data, I just do data. So it's a little bit, you know, shorter. And then you have to decide from three options. Remove, merge, or get. Now, get is gonna give you the data. Now, if you do uh, this, an example, and then we do... Always oh, active. No, nothing happens. Wait, what? Oh, of course, I want that 13. I'm really stupid. But anyways, what is supposed to happen in 1.12, it is gonna give you the block data of this command. It's gonna, you're gonna get all of the block data of this command. So this same thing here can be this. Wait, without this though. So it's gonna get all of the MBT data from the command block. So it's gonna see the TID is command block, the output is 1.b, and then the command is this. Look, look at this, we, we can see the command from the output of the, the, the command. Also the coordinates and everything. It says literally everything, so it's pretty cool. So if we wanted to, you know, add an MBT tag, we should have done this, okay? So now this command is gonna become always active. But if we want to do it now, we basically have to do data merge block and then put the MBT we want to merge. So as you can see now, it's going to be a little bit hard to see because, you, you know, naturally it's already active. But as you can see, it says nothing changed. The, the properties already have these values because, you know, the command block was already always active. We're going to try it out with something else just so I can show you. Give player stone and then, oh my gosh, and now we have to deactivate it, get the coordinates. So we're going to do like this. Get the coordinates and do auto 1b. And as you can see, when I put it to 1, it works. When I put it to 0, it's the on needs redstone. So basically, this is what changed. Not a whole lot. Just block data has become data merge block. We just basically inverted the words right here. And so it's pretty easy to, to get, basically, this one. Now, we will go to a test board. You may see, wow, a test board, Nico? You never wanted to use a test board. Now, test boards are useless, okay? And this is why Moyang removed it from this version. I, I, I've heard a lot of people complaining, saying, oh my gosh, I'm so confused. What do I do now that the test board is there? Well, you basically use an execute. So now, instead of looking at the test board, because the test board was removed, we're gonna look at an execute, but in 1.12. So in 1.12, you have to execute, put the selector, then put the offset, and then put the command. So, give uh, a test stone. Now, this command right here has a lot of stuff in it. So first of all, why does it execute at the position of the selector? What if I only wanted to execute as the selector, but not at the position of the selector. Also, what if I didn't want an offset? I mean, yeah, I can leave it like this, but isn't this a lot of waste of, you know, data and time? Like, why do you even need to do this if you don't have an offset? Like, it's useless, but you have to put it, uh, like, you are forced to put it. Also, what if I want to detect if a certain block is in a certain way? I have to do all detect, uh, like this, and then do all of that, but what if I actually want to do the detect without the execute, so I just want to do this. I cannot do it. 1.12 is so broken. That's why they made a new execute command. Now I'm going to leave this to execute and all dot dot give player stone. Okay, I'm going to do give and add stone. In 1.13 it's so much easier and so much 
fun, okay? So basically, what you do is always execute, but now you have a big plethora of things you can choose. And you may say, oh my gosh, this is too much, I'm scared. But no, don't worry about it, I don't know half of these things, okay? But what you actually need to do, I mean, if you want to do the exact uh, command as this, you basically have to execute as this entity, okay? And then at the position of the entity, because in 1.12 it did both. So you also have to do at at s. So basically what this is gonna do is gonna at execute as the entity and at the position of the entity, and then just run and then the command. So it, it, it you know it, it's a little bit better to comprehend because right here you don't know what's going on. Here you you are executing as the entity at the same entity and you are running the command give at the entity stone so you know it's a, it's a little bit more English we, we, we could say so now I'm gonna show you the difference between s and at so basically we, if we execute a command s basically we can execute like score hello uh, we have to do tag uh, the entity with let's say hi okay so now this entity is gonna have the tag i and basically everyone every entity i'm gonna put it to always active so if i go here wait i have to do tag uh nico the pro list now list okay thank you you have to press tab many times okay it's gonna say that i have the tag hi because i executed us myself us at all but if i now do uh execute as myself uh, set block, uh, one block above me, stone, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna set the block of stone right here, like on top of the command, and I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna have a stone block in my head, so I'm gonna be like, no, I, I don't want this. How do I make it so? The block of stone is on top of my head, meaning the command executes not only as me, but at me. Basically what you have to do is put here, at. So now, as you can see, I, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, save me, no, 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 I don't know, I don't want to die like this, please, no, 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 please, please, okay, 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 we, we, we are good. Now that I think about it, I'm not gonna release the download of this world, it's a, it's a little bit broken. Yay, destruction. But anyways, now you know the difference between uh, S and at, and you may see Nico, what does all of the other stuff do? Well, let's get into it. That's amazing. Now, what if I want to detect if this block right here, an example, is stone? In 1.12, you should do test for block uh, the coordinates, please. Okay, wait. Test for block, we're gonna get the coordinates right here, and then we're gonna put test for block again, and we have to do stone. But then, after you did this, we put it right here, you also have to put a, uh, a chain conditional always active command that does your command. So it's gonna give the player stone. Now, this is a little bit stupid, you, you know what I mean? Like, why, why is this even like this? In 1.13, all of this contraption is all reproduced in only one command. And you guessed it, it's an execute command. So you just have to do execute if you can choose if the blocks, so you can do test for blocks, or if the entity, or if a score. But we're gonna go for block, and then we're gonna put the same coordinates as before. Give me a second, I have to copy them, because I forgot about them. So, if the block at this coordinates is stone, then what it's gonna do is gonna run a command, and that command can gi give the player stone. So basically, all of this was done in only this command. It executed only if the block right here is stone, and if it is, it's gonna give the player stone. And then we're gonna go, and as you can see, it's, it's happening, but then if I do this, it stops happening. It stops happening. And now, the, you know the other funny thing about 1.13? That you can actually invert the output. Exactly. In 1.12, you have to use a scoreboard, and you have to say, okay, if the block right here is stone, then give the counter a tag. And if the a counter doesn't have that tag, then it means that the block is not stone. You have to do all of this thinking and all of this command blocking. Right now, you know what you need to do to invert the output? Instead of, the, uh, instead of if, you put unless. So now this is gonna always work unless the block right here is stone. So as you can see, now it doesn't work because the block right here is stone, and now it still doesn't work, I mean I... Uh... Oh, well, I, I, I'm actually stupid. This has to be too always active. So now, as you can see, because the block is stored, it's not working, but as soon as I remove it, I can place anything else, and it still will work, unless I put stone. So this is actually pretty good, and a really good thing for map makers. All of the other commands are basically actually... Oh, wait. All of the other commands, I mean, I, I'm not saying that they are the same, but they are basically the same. One thing to remember, though, 
is actually the Sabal Comed. It didn't change, but something really weird about the MBT tag changed, and I want to show you it right now. So basically, if you do custom name visible, because you know you have to make it visible first, and then you do custom name, now you cannot name it Stone. As you can see, it's not gonna work. I don't know why it should have at least summoned the entity, but it didn't. So why does it work? Because now you can put colors and funny stuff even in names. So now you don't have to hack Minecraft to try to put names into armor stands and stuff like that. No, now you can do it just basically with commands. And you basically use the same technique as a tableau. So because of that, you have to do this and this when you start a command. If you do this, it's gonna work, but it's not gonna give you the name. You stupid thing. Oh, it's because I cannot spell in proper English. This is visible, not visible. And so, now it's called Stone. And as you can see, I can call it different names. And the last thing that I want you to notice before doing all of this thing is remember that the, the P, the, 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 the Pete command, it's remember that the, the Pete also, you have to remember, last thing, that the TP command is now on the executor, non, not on the person that's being executed. So, do you see that creeper over there? I could do TP, E tag equals creeper, and also, yeah, you have to remember all of these changes too. Now, it's not uh, C equals 1, but it's leave it equals 1. And basically, we're gonna TP it. Uh, one block to the whatever direction this is. Well, yeah, we're gonna tip it one block to the top, uh, you know, higher. But now you may see, so this creeper is gonna get tip it one block higher. No, that's not gonna happen. You're gonna get it straight in your face. Uh, duh. Oh, oops, uh, this is not a tag. This is a type. I'm, I'm stupid, actually. Okay, so now, duh. It gets the peed right up here. It doesn't get the peed on top of himself, but it gets the peed on top of you. Because now the TP command basically works on the executor, non not on the entity that has been executed. So if you basically wanted to do what was there before for the TP, you have to execute as the creeper and then at the same entity and you're gonna run TP that entity one block to the left or one block above. So basically you have to put an execute before it. Now I have been putting a limit and I've been sorting to the rest. So only this creeper works, as you can see, it's pretty cool. But if I remove this, I don't know if it's gonna still work because maybe it is only one entity. No it doesn't. It's gonna do it for every single creeper and it's really funny. I, I love this guys. Yeah, you guys creeper are so amazing. Anyway guys, this is all that I'm gonna show today. This video was really requested, this is why I did it. And uh, yeah, you know, I hope I you know I, I made your mind a little bit better about what the 13. And I actually must say the truth, I think Command block wise, it's a really cool update. I mean, like, literally. I was skeptical at first, but now I, I, I think this is cool. Also, you see this cool thing that I can do? Look, I can drop one stone, but if I keep dropping it... Wow, look at, look at that. Wow, is it, is it really... Isn't it really cool? Infinite stone dropping. Hooray! As far as the other updates are concerned, though, I don't know. I mean, I like the aquatic update. It's a lot of hype. But aren't we changing Minecraft too much? It used to be a simple game, but I don't know, I'm no one to tell, but I think Command Blocks updates are really amazing. So I'm gonna leave you on this note, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this little tutorial, I am gonna do more, please leave a like, so I can get subs, so I can get recognized, so I can be relevant, and then I can fulfill my ego. So yeah, thank you.